There are many reasons for players to migrate to different kingdoms. Civil wars, unfair leadership, not enough activity or the opposite, too much activity, overwhelming activity and obligations. But regardless of the reasons, today we will go through how can you find the perfect kingdom to migrate for your account. Let's go. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> First of all, I want to address migrating to pre-season of conquest kingdom from a kingdom that is already in season of conquest. If you are not in SOC, this means you are in either KVK 1, 2 or 3. And in that case, you don't need to worry about this section, but still, you will find some useful information for your future plans. Now, even though migrating to younger kingdoms sounds really good on paper, such as you can go, go back with all your great equipment and all that and smash weaker players, that is usually not the case. It is very possible, but the thing is, Rise of Kingdoms all about growing your account. And if you go back to pre-season of conquest, from season of conquest, you will hinder your progress a lot. Number one, barbarians. SOC barbarians compared to KBK two or three are a lot better. You will get significantly higher value from killing those barbarians. But of course, that's not it. Number two, commanders. In season of conquest, you will have access to pretty much every single commander whether it's a wheel commander or MGE. But in season two, your options are very limited and you only have handful of commanders that are considered good in season of conquest, such as YSG. By limiting the commander options that you can get from wheel of fortune, daily chests or other events, whatever, you are slowing down your commander progression, also slowing down your accounts progression. And number three is pretty much everything else. Season of conquest shop, AKA skins, KVK equipment and Sovereign keys, a lot of things that are going on in Season of Conquest won't be there for you in KVK2. So my recommendation, do not think about going back to KVK2 from Season of Conquest. Now, finding the perfect kingdom. First, we need to assess our power level and our needs. Even though 1093 is one of the best in Rise of Kingdoms and I think the leadership is certainly the best, I decided to migrate because being in a top organization like 1093 requires so much time and dedication. And sometimes you just need to be honest with yourself. I realized that I just wasn't able to keep up with the others. I either wasn't able to spend enough time or money. That's why I decided to leave and find myself a more relaxed but still somewhat competitive kingdom. However, I just cannot migrate to any kingdom I want because my power level is a problem. Even though I have really good commanders and pretty decent equipment, Lack of time and lack of resources aka farm accounts always held me back. I have a lot of deaths and 90% of it are T5, so I don't care about losing troops, but reinforcing rallies and structures just doesn't give you a lot of kills. And that's why you need to constantly fight in the open field, which requires time and a lot of resources. And the result is only 1 billion kill points. So I also need an approval from the kingdom I decided to migrate. And that's why it is always good to have a few different options then you are trying to find a new home for your account. So my needs are a semi-competitive, relaxed kingdom with good leadership that is already in Season of Conquest. And my power level is average. Now it is time to find a kingdom that matches my needs. Best way to do that is checking various Discord servers. Link to our Discord is in the description. And once you join, you need to navigate for the channel that is called Recruitment. But even though it is our Discord, my suggestion is don't limit yourself with one Discord only. And even if you are going to do that, I highly recommend you go to official Rise of Kingdoms Discord's recruitment channel. Once you are there, you can use text to filter unrelated posts. I will select Season of Conquest and you can even select the seed of the kingdom that you are looking for. Now let's analyze our options and discuss the possible red flags we encounter in these posts. Pardon from future. While I was editing the video, I realized that there are two webcams in front of me, by the way. Instead of looking at this one while I was talking, I kept looking at this one. The wrong one so the rest of the video kind of looks weird if you look at my face so try to not look at my face or my eyes let's keep going all right now we are in the official rise of kingdoms discord we navigate for recruitment channel there it is and here you can see pretty much every single post we select season of conquest now you can select seeking players but when you select it you will see a lot of posts for jumper projects so i'm not going to select this i will just take the season of conquest and take a look at my possibilities 1442. They're looking for T5 players with Season of Conquest commanders, of course. Players with 5 marches to fight. I don't have 5 marches. Rally and garrison leaders, priority. So that is kind of a red flag because when you migrate to a kingdom, even though we are looking for a relaxed kingdom, we still want the kingdom that we migrate to have 
their rally leaders and garrisons decided. So I'm not sure about this one. Let's take a look at the rest. MGE fixed on war statistics, which is really good. You always want fixed MGEs. This means they have an established leadership. International Alliance, R5 and R4 with experience. We clean the dead weight, finishing KVK. Migration would start when our KVK ends in 10 days. Now, I only have two things on my mind. Number one is, as I said, they are looking for rally and garrison leaders. And number two, it doesn't say anything about their previous KVK wins or loses. So for now, I will skip that. Open recruitment, 2547. So they are as well looking for rally garrison leaders, account T5 with power about 80 million mid to high spenders, max stack as soon as possible, have expertise meta commanders for rally and garrison, has a lot of time for kvk, not afraid to kill troops. I'm not afraid to kill troops, but I don't have a lot of time for kvk or <laughs> I'm not VIP 70, whatever. So this is not for me. Open field fighter, so that's basically what I do. Kill points, 10 times the highest power. Even though I only have 1 billion, my highest power was 80 million. So I think for open field fighting, it is okay for me. Pusher activity, finally we won our current KVK and we will get the star. More information, chat our stuff and join our migration discord. So that is a really good thing. This means they have a kingdom discord. They also have a specific discord for migration. That means they are well organized. And here you can see four different people that you can contact for migration, which is also really good. Sometimes you see only one and that is for me a red flag because this means the R4s and the good leadership is just not there okay now it should be a lot better and convenient let's move on to the next one 1824 now look at this one kvk one two three four five seven nine victory that is really good it's an a seed kingdom so what makes them great let's see they're talking about the victories a seed fixed mg that is really good highly active community really nice fighting culture extremely organized kingdom a team that understand this game is about fighting not farming and farming active fighters we take stats and power into account for rewards and events so if you are sick of veils taking rewards from you this is the best place for you so they say that if you're active and you get a lot of kills you will get better rewards join us together 1824 blah 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 now again four different players for contact and these are their power kill point and dead requirements so i think this could be a good possibility. It is a competitive kingdom. It is not as relaxed, but still nowhere near 1093 most likely. 2889. What is good about this one is it is their first season of conquest. So you can actually shine. What they offer, C Seed, One Alliance Kingdom, KVK stats tracked by scans, which is really good. Top 15 MG placement giving to top KVK performance. Multiple times Arc of Osiris, Silo Boat, Active Alliance Discord. They are looking for individuals or small groups, active fighters with moderate to strong kill point ratios, rally garrison leaders, active follow markers. Now as you can see, there is only one guy, so I would say I am not going to follow this one. 2375, look at that. Recruiting for Viking Phoenix. Garrison and rally leads, open fielders, don't forget to send your previous KVK stats in the application. We got no space for farmers, kingdom open now. Like this one doesn't give any particular information about the kingdom or what they need. So I will also skip that. This one is B seed. KVK 1, 3, 4, 5 winner kingdom 2479. We will enter first recovery KVK before we enter our next bloody KVK. We register on 15th of May pop up. What we offer? Peaceful kingdom. That is great. Experience leadership. Active Discord, Friend Atmosphere, 24-7 Titles, Fixed MGEs, Working with DKP System, B Seed. They're looking for active fighters, any fighter at any power level, definitely not farmer. So, not 100% sure about this one, but I will give it a follow. 1486, oh boy. And last but not least, let's take a look at this one. I didn't select any kingdoms, by the way. I just went from top to below to show you the process, the thinking process about when you look at these posts and if you decide to check out a kingdom or not. KVK4 open recruitment. We don't carry that way, so do not waste your time signing up if you don't fight. SOC rally and garrison leads. Limited spots. Now, this is good. This is really good. This means, okay, they are looking for rally and garrison leads, but they already have some. Full critical gear, leadership priority, cavalry archer welcomed. SOC meta commanders at least kill points, 10 times highest power, mid to high spender. F2P highly active players, under 45 million, blah, blah, blah. What they offer is... Highly experienced and organized leadership, detailed KVK stat tracking, strict dead weight management, fixed MG, open MG during KVK, two main alliances plus two support, international B seed kingdom. Now I will give this a follow as my last 
option. Now we have our list for ideal kingdoms. Next, we will take a quick look at these kingdoms to see number of active alliances, player power level, kill points, etc. If you're satisfied with what you saw, we can move on to the next step, which is getting in touch with these recruiters. And there are a few questions that I want you to ask. Number one, is it a tryhard kingdom or a more relaxed one? This way you can pretty much understand the requirements that you are going to face when you are playing in this kingdom. Number two, do you have a spending requirement during KVK? Because I know for a fact that some kingdoms that are in Season of Conquest require some level of spending because there is crystal technology. So you have to make sure that if they have a requirement. And number three, which alliance that you will join. Before you migrate to a kingdom, you have to know for sure that you will be, there is a space for you that is ready in a good alliance. Let's say a kingdom has two main alliances and two support. And if you won't be able to get into those two, one of two main alliances, there is literally no point for you to migrate just to join a support alliance. So don't do that. Ask them which alliance I will join. We can add more questions to this list, such as are MGs fixed or not? But as you can see, most of these questions are already answered in the recruitment post. If you are approved to migrate and the answers they give to your questions are okay, we have two options. You can either pull the trigger and migrate to that kingdom or you can ask them to invite you to their kingdom discord so that you can see if they have a well-organized active discord because it tells a lot about a kingdom. And if you are satisfied with the discord as well, congratulations, you have found a new home. Good luck.